Polycap Igade turned up to sit in for Jubilee gubernatorial candidate Mike Mbuvi Sonko, but the organizers wouldn't let him, insisting that the debate was strictly for governor candidates and not their running mates. Peter Kenneth also failed to attend the debate organized by the Kenya Alliance of Residents Association. Those that showed up included incumbent Ivan Skidero and independent Miguna Miguna, who wasted no time in tearing into each other's leadership credentials. Governor Kidero, are you willing, are you willing and ready to undertake today to have all your properties, all your investments and transactions forensically audited? I filed my tax returns under Article 35. If you want information, you can get it from my tax returns. The candidates also including Godfrey Wanyoike, an independent, Michael Mutinda of the Agano Party and Masharia Kamau of PDU laid out their plans for decongesting Nairobi and dealing with hawkers, Kamau claiming that he would repossess all golf courses in Nairobi. Whether we buy or we get from it, the people we, who go to gold, they have money, they have choppers, they have folk, they can have their golf courses in Turkana or Masabit or wherever. We don't need golf courses in Nairobi. And you have hookers being killed because you don't have space to sell their wares. Other issues tackled in the debate included infrastructural development, healthcare, and the war on corruption. I also intend to unveil a subway system, which would be the first in East and Central Africa. Nine corridors have been designed, seven of which, uh, seven of which are road and three are, um, are rail. The forum also dealt with issues of housing, trade development, security, environment and physical planning. Hassan Mugambi, Citizen TV.